seen her on, uh, really. I'm the most rural MP. <laughs> uh, uh, that is simply because my niche is that last person, that most rural person. That includes uh, includes the elderly, the children, the ones in the most vulnerable areas. I'm the one who represents Northern on the Social Protection Forum of Parliament. I want to join the rest in condemning the removal of the Social Protection Fund. Honestly, where some of us grew from, we have been looked after by the elderly. And I remember how my grandmother would struggle to look for the slippery leaves to give us food. And now there are so many orphans, there are so many vulnerable children who are left in the hands of the, uh, the elderly. Now, removing this money, honestly, is just a way of sentencing the elderly to death. This is just a government condemning these people to death. Because this money means a lot to them. We cannot say we are uh, transforming the future, we are securing uh, people's future. Which future now? When you are trying to kill off those who have given us life. The elderly, they say, once you are old, that is wisdom. Then we are going to leave this country without wisdom. We are just trying to say there is no need to have the old people yet. NRM is our government. This is the, the biggest number, uh, this is the, uh, the, the party that has the biggest number of the elderly. Do we care about our elderly? What do we want to transform? when we don't care about our old people who give us wisdom. For me, I will strongly say, you can't secure a future without the elderly giving the young generation the advice and giving them a direction on how to move, uh, how to operate. This money is so crucial. There is nothing we can do without first putting our old in the right place. In Europe, their homes, for the elderly. They are catered for very well. The elderly mean a lot. If we want to crush this country, then we should continue with what we want to do right now. I'm not swimming in the same pool with the Ministry of Finance, with the so-called advisors to the President who do not want to think the right way. 